And I just looked at him, and he, I just looked at him, and he just looked pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Because recently I was at a bowling alley with Haru and my wife. Mm -hmm. And because Haru likes to go bowling. Yeah. Um, why? For the life of me, I don't know. <laughs> because she's not that great at it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But she does get a strike every year once, like, yeah. you know, in a while. But uh, so we're playing, and the alley, like the lane right at, next to us, there was a couple. Okay. And, um, like this dude was trying to beat his girlfriend so bad, okay? And like, I was watching that and I was like, why, like, what, why would you even go on a date like this when you're trying to like, if you want to destroy your, <laughs> your girlfriend, like if you're, if you're upset that she's like, she, she knocked over more pins than you. Oh, he was getting upset. Yeah, like it looked like he was getting upset and he was, he was throwing the ball harder and harder as it mm. as it went on. And I was just watching that. And and also now that I think about it, like why was I so focused on their game? <laughs> yeah, as opposed dude. to like caring about my family. <laughs> I'm pretty competitive with, with my wife. Yeah, you are. But it's it's fun. Yeah, you are. And she hates it. Yeah, <laughs> right. Brit told me. She's, she's like she's like Brit told me, like when when you turned around, she's like, he's so competitive. She's she's athletic. I hate it. We keep each other accountable. Everybody's different. Yeah, you guys have a very playful competitiveness, right? Right. Which is great. Like you, you're not getting upset. It's like Pepper and uh, Tony Stark. You yeah. Know? Which is which is a good dynamic. Same thing with me and my wife, right? We're exactly. very competitive about everything. Right. Okay. But in a way where we're not really ever getting upset that we're losing. Mm -hmm. You know, the nature of good competitiveness between people that. Uh, care about each other is when that other person wins, you're just as happy as you know. You're actually more happy when you lose to that person. It's the competition that's fun, right? Not the end result, right? Right. And um, but the case in question was like this person looked like he was he was mad. Yeah. And it's he's like getting another different ball. You know, like <laughs> you know how like yeah. That's the sign of somebody at a yeah. bowling alley that's kind of like mad yeah. when they get a heavier ball. Heavier ball. He's like, there's not enough chalk here. Yeah. He's like talking to the manager. He's yeah, like, where is yeah. the chalk? You and know? and his and his spins start getting like more hardcore. Over the line, huh? You know. I mean, it's like bowling is not an activity where I feel you should get so competitive. I'm, I'm not gonna, strangely good at. I'm not trying to bring down the bowling association. I'm not. But I will say that like the difference is. You can get a guy who puts two fingers into the hole, not even the third one, and like that's how you spin it, right? Yeah. And then you got like a, a six year old going up with the ball and then rolling it as slow as possible and still getting a strike. Yeah, how so, did that? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. my I don't imagine how to like lining up and yeah, just she doesn't. chucking it down. So it is… Is it a tough competitive sport? Yes. But it's also a flip of the coin sometimes, right? My mom, who does not play sports at all, will hit a strike every now and then. So level of difficulty… Come on, dude. Why are you getting so mad at I, your girl? I know bowling is not the issue here. And it's a Valentine's Day… Spe <laughs> it's like a Valentine's special. Yeah. But uh, here's the thing. Like the first time I went bowling like with Mithra… Well, not the first time, but I had heard that Mithra was like, have you know, he had some friends that he was like doing heavy bowling with, right? So one day they invited me. I go, uh, and I, you know, I go like a normal person. I go in my normal clothes, with just my wallet, right? So I get there and I'm trying to like pay to get a, you know, bowling like to. I'm at the place where like people are picking their bowling balls, right? The with the numbers, right? And Mithra comes in with this huge, like, specially made bag. And I'm like, what? Why is he bringing a bag? He opens it and he takes out, like, these custom balls. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, apparently they have, like, some weights inside or something like that to make it spin. And he… It's fit… It's like… I don't know. It's like tailored to his fingers. So he has, like, these 
personal like custom made balls and like yeah. glove and all this the wrist guard weird yeah like unnecessary shit Just like a, in uh, in my opinion right a jar of bengay and i'm like okay so this guy's been like bowling with other friends so for a while because he has his own ball right like if you are investing into like having your own ball and carrying that around just to just to throw some balls at a <laughs> bunch of pins he must be really hardcore serious and maybe very good now right and he, and i'm like when we start and really not that great yeah you see that a lot. Yeah, he's just not that great. Yeah. Now like you would expect a custom ball to be doing things like that are unimaginable, like right. breaking pins, right. you know, like like shattering them. But no, and he was like throwing stuff into the gutter, like, and I just looked at him, and he, I just looked at him, and he just looked pathetic. <laughs> 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 you know, he's yeah, like, yeah, and then he's like. And then he puts it back into his bag and like… I don't know. That is exactly who the bowling association is exploiting. Yeah, you know people like saying? Mithra. You loved this clip, didn't you? Go listen to the whole episode on any podcast platform. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications on this channel so you never miss a thing.